Cette émission est un programme d'enseignement destiné aux jeunes scolarisés pour leur permettre d'en profiter pleinement, chers parents. Merci de tenir éloigné des éléments de distraction, téléphone, télécommande et autres. Il est également recommandé de mettre l'élève dans des conditions propices à l'apprentissage. Avoir un cahier et un crayon à billes à portée de main serait bénéfique. Dans la mesure du possible, la surveillance parentale ou d'un tuteur peut s'avérer nécessaire. Good morning, dear uh, televiewers. Good morning, dear learners of Premier. I am Emmanuel Pascal, your English language teacher. And today, we work on the fifth module, Media and Communication. The family of situation, one that we will be working on is titled Exploiting Information Through Media. In this work, we have two tasks. The first one is about identifying the following messages and pair them with the alternatives that, we will, that will be given below. The first message, I will read it out for you. Business owners, of Mokolo. Please listen to this message. Tomorrow is the sanitary inspection day. Our inspectors, sorry there is a mistake there because in inspectors supposed to have R before S. Our in inspectors will come around to make sure your businesses are hygienic. If your immediate environment is unhygienic, you will be fined. That is our first message. We move to the next message, message two. Hello, Judith, on the line. May I speak to Mr. Smith, please? Our third message, Gadgets for Africa, opening specials. Once again, I'm sorry for uh, an error. Special is supposed to be spelled S-P-E-C-I-A-L-S. So we should omit the A that comes after P. We have a wide variety of computers, tablets, phones, and other gadgets. That is for the first page. Let us continue the reading of the messages on the second page. Visit us today. That was the ending of uh, our third message. Now, message four. From Colon, Regional Delegate for Secondary Education. Inside brackets, delegate. Normally, instead of the dash that you see, it was arobas because of a, uh, an error that we did. We apologize for that. Delegate, arobas, edu, when gov, when come. Close brackets. Two, colon, premier students, inside brackets, premier students, and instead of six, once more, is supposed to be arobas, school, when government plot, who stop? Come. Close of brackets. Under two, we have subject, colon, spelling B. And under it, we have the regional delegate for secondary education invite all premier students 
to register for the next spelling bee. The date of the competition is October 10. Our fifth message. Good evening, Mom. Just a short and quick word to let you know that my first day at school was a success. I will explain everything when you are back tonight. Take care. After the reading of our five messages, we will go ahead with some guidances that can orient you in order to understand what the exercise upcoming will be all about. Guidance. On the bottom of page two, read the messages carefully once more. That is, you should go back to the first one you read, taking all your time. Which message is A, an SMS, B, a radio announcement, C, a phone call, D, an not A, because there we have two articles. The first one is not supposed to be there. So you take us from an advertisement, an E, an email. So the, the five uh, alternatives balance the five messages. It is now up to you to match or pair them. But before doing that, we have to take a look at some remarks at the very beginning of the third page. Remarks. Always try to identify the indicators of each and every message. One. We are going to read the indicators. You can easily recognize an SMS provided you identify the text from a cell phone, which is, not are, because text is singular. So the verb should agree. Which is generally short, concise, and precise about the given information. Example, I will explain everything when you are back. Two, a radio announcement indicators. You can tackle the recognition by identifying in the message some indicators that deliver a need to pay attention to an ongoing information which is not done regularly. For example, please listen to Inspectors will come around. You will be fined. Number three. A cell phone indicators. You can differentiate a cell phone message from the others by locating the wording of an online conversation. Example. Judith on the line. May I speak to, please? Port indicators and advertisement indicators. We can know that a message is advertising if we look for the mass appealing wording as well as the listing of some items purchasable in that company. Example. Gadgets for Africa, opening specials, wide variety, computers, tablets, phones, and other gadgets. Now we move to the fourth page in order to identify the indicators of an email. Five, an email indicators. 
An email can be picked out from the list of messages by identifying its three entries followed by a text. That is to say, it shows a sender's address, a receiver's, that is a receiver address, and a subject. Example, from to subject. So those three elements are supposed to indicate and clarify that this message is name or call, you give the name. After the presentation and the reading of the five indicators, we will go gradually one after the other. Let us now go back in the first message. Since we recall that an SMS indicators, you can easily recognize an SMS provided you identify the text from a cell phone, which are generally short, concise, and precise about the given information. Example, I will explain everything when you are back. Let's go back on page, I mean on the first page. Yes, on the second page, the fifth message. Good evening, mom. Just a short and quick word to let you know that my first day at school was a success. I will explain everything when you are back tonight. Take care. Let us stop for a while and then explain exactly the indicators that we have mentioned down there. We said, as examples of indicator of words that can be considered as indicators, we quoted, I will explain everything. I will explain everything simply means that the speaker does not have enough time at the very moment he or she is talking. That is the reason why they use either for he or she. They are trying to postpone the explanation that probably will take time. We are trying to drag the attention of the learner of Premier so much so that they should be capable of identifying the elements or indicators of a phone call, an SMS, an email, and others. Beside that indicator, we have a second one. When you are back tonight. When you are back tonight, simply means that the two persons in contact are living probably in the same house. And that therefore it is no use, it is no use to talk too much. Because finally, at the end of the day, they will be together. And the child will explain everything to her or his mother. Let us read the second indicator. I mean, the two, number two. A radio announcement. And we will go back to uh, the message so that we should link the two before giving you the final uh, correction. A radio announcement indicators. Let us take only the example so that we should go back and identify them. Please listen to. Inspectors will come around. You will be fine. We, you have to, as learners of Premier, and then uh, this is the moment for me to recall that Premier's 
classes have entered the CBA approach, competence-based approach. So you have to do your best in order to analyze the text or the messages you are given, especially when you are talking of the fit module, media and communication, because it is all about ideas, it is all about information that you want to share. All right. I was saying that the main words taken from this example, please listen to inspectors will come around, you will be fine. Those three sentences are sufficient enough for us to go back on the first page, the first message, where the business owners of Mokolo are being called to pay attention, to listen to the ongoing message. And what does the message say? The message simply says, tomorrow is a sanitary day. We said that the indicator of, we said, yes, that the indicator, yes, of a radio announcement are basically the fact that something does not happen every day or constantly. And you can see with me that inspectors, not only in the domain of hygiene, inspectors are not regular in our institutions. They have a program. At times they will call before coming, at times not, but in any way, they will come for a for an academic year, for example, they will come once, and that will be all. It depends of the domain, but in school, for example, they, they come but once. So this, this, the fact that they are not constantly coming calls upon the attention of those who are concerned by the information. And in the message, our listeners are business owners of Mokolo. Another indicator on which I would like to explain something again will come around. Not will come around, but make sure. Yes, make sure is like inviting somebody to get ready. Yes, you should get ready. Why? Because if not, we have to read what follows. If not, if hygienic measures are not taken enough, probably you will be fine. And I would like to break down the understanding of being fine here. Because fine uh, for you learners might be a little bit difficult. But fine here simply means you will be sanctioned if you want to take it like that, or you will be penalized. Yes, it's better like that. Because fine is a kind of difficult for you. So you will be fine. We have then to grasp the three sentences. Inspector will come. Make sure, which is a warning. Make sure means be careful. You will be fine. All right. After analyzing the second message and its indicators, let us move on with the analysis of the third indicators. Judith, I will take just the example. Judith on the line. May I speak to? Please. Those two lines on the third page can help you understand the kind of message listen to when somebody is speaking. The speaker mentioned on the line, you can picture the connection. You can picture uh, the ICT which is being used here. 
Another strong indicator is speak. May I speak? Two. Which comes back to certain formula that we use when you are exchanging. But now the means of communicating depends on you before we read the, 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 the state of the, the, the correction. The fourth indicator, an advertisement indicators related to uh, the fourth message. That is the one talking of Africa. Examples, gadget for Africa. Opening specials, wide variety, computers, tablets, phones, and other gadgets. What do you understand by all that? It simply means that when you are advertising for a company or a shop or any institution, you will call upon the attention of the mass. You will call upon the attention of Many people, not only a small group, no, but many people because you are dealing with people who have to buy. So the greater the number, the better for that company. And then another indicator is that you will see some items being listed, which was the case with computers, tablets, phones, and other gadgets, they could not cite everything. They, they cut it short. Now, the last uh, explanation that I would like to give before we come to the correction of the first task. Five, and email indicators. Let us take only the example from, to, and the subject. Those are the three indicators of an email. And if you go back to your messages, you go back to your messages, uh, messages, uh, message number four. We will see from regional delegate for secondary education to premier student. The first one is talking about the senders. The second one, too, is talking about the receivers. That is the people concerned, premier students. And then right under, you can see the subject. The subject simply means what is the message all about. It is a competition named Spelling B. After those explanations, I think it is the right time for us to see the correction. The correction starts on the fourth page. Correction of task one. You can see it in red on screen. Message one is a radio announcement. Message two is a phone call. Message three is an advertisement. Message four is an email. And the fifth message is an SMS. Without matching, I think it is a moment for us to stop for the moment and we we'll come back for another frequency. Cette émission est un programme d'enseignement destiné aux jeunes scolarisés pour leur permettre d'en profiter pleinement, chers parents. Merci de tenir éloigné des éléments de distraction, téléphone, télécommande et autres. Il est également recommandé de mettre l'élève dans des conditions propices à l'apprentissage. Avoir un cahier et un crayon à billes à portée de main serait bénéfique. Dans la mesure du possible, la surveillance parentale ou d'un tuteur peut s'avérer nécessaire. Welcome back, DLNS. Before uh, the short break, I said that we should uh, proceed with the correction of tax one. I will go uh, a little bit fast because we have so many things to do right on that. Message one, we said we link it with a radio announcement. Message two is a phone call. Message three is an advertisement. Message four is an email. Message five is an SMS. Now, still on the same page, we will start the second task of this lesson. What is the difference between gadgets and 
appliances. That is the first question. What is the difference between gadgets and appliances? This question compels you to know role and the definition of on one hand the gadgets and on the second hand the appliances b name five gadgets that you know c name five appliances of your choice it simply means that we have a great deal of appliances, a great number, if you like. D. Answer by true or false. And I will read the questions. We can use a gadget that is on page 4, as from page 4. We can use a gadget and an appliance at the same moment. Let me explain a little bit. That at the same time you use a gadget, you use an appliance. Is it true or false? Second dash. Some gadgets are more expensive than some appliances. It means, do we have, are there some gadgets that you can purchase at a higher price? as compared to certain appliances. The third dash, we can only purchase appliances in a second hand. English being a language a little bit complex for you, I try to put inside the bracket broken so that you can understand the meaning of second hand because second hand can refer to uh, many other things. So, a judge necessary to indicate inside the bracket broken. Good. The fourth dash. All the gadgets have the same usage. That is, no matter the gadget I choose, I will have the same value, role, importance. Is it true or false? Now, the fifth dash. A fax machine is an appliance. That is, I'm trying to rank or to classify a fax machine under the category of appliances. Is it true or false? Now, let's now move to the correction of the second task. But the correction deals with some explanation that you have to know because in your lessons based on the fifth module in your various classes media and communication you saw that the ICT are divided into groups we have appliances that I will clearly uh, uh, define as some items that we can, in most cases, use in our kitchen or in our houses. And then, on the other hand, we had gadgets that are as simple as you can define them, instruments of entertainment. It can be music, it can be a need like sending uh, pictures, so it is all about entertainment. If you know how the difference between the two category of ICT, as the A is giving you the answer, the difference between gadgets and appliances is at the level of usage. I will invite you to do it as a simple experience at home. As from today, try to master a list, that is, draw a list of appliances at your right. And then uh, another one for gadgets at your left. We can use gadgets anywhere while appliances are basically machine useful for the house, as I said in my definition.
That is the first difference between the two. B, some appliances are, because we were asked on the fourth page, question B asks us to name five gadgets that we know. When you are asked to cite five, it doesn't mean that the number is limited to five, no. We simply uh, encourage our learners to keep making research because the more a learner knows about or has an understanding or a mastery of appliances as far as the names are concerned, the better for him. Then, answering question B, naming gadgets that we know. Some appliances are, let us start first by appliances because I take it the other way around. Normally the question was supposed to be uh, related to gadgets, but I prefer because I've started already. Some appliances, so the, 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 the C will take the place of B and then the other way around. Some appliances are, we name air conditioners, dish washers, clothes dryers, freezers, kitchen stoves, water heaters, washing machines, trash compactors, microwave ovens, and so on and so forth. Let's now see what is supposed to be B. As I said, some gadgets are tablets, phones, MP3 player, a computer, camera, television set, radio, headphones, and so on and so forth. Let's answer to question D. I will read it once again. Answer by true or false. D, the first dash. Let us read the question. We can use a gadget and an appliance at the same moment. That was the question. And the answer is true. You cannot say true and then you say, uh, you know everything. You have to explain. You have to break down the understanding at the level of the usage. You can use an appliance, and we gave an example right after our true. For example, you can listen to music in your MP3 player while using a fax machine, which is only natural. That is, you are listening to music, you have your headphone, and then you are using at the same time a fax machine. So both can be used at the same moment. I prefer using the word moment, not time, moment. Now, second question. Some gadgets are more expensive than some appliances. What is the answer? The answer is true. Why? For example, some mobile phones are more expensive than water heaters, which is, a, a, which is something uh, obvious. Because you can have, for instance, uh, an n Phoenix that can cost 200,000 as compared to uh, a, a water heater that can cost maximum. In our day-to-day uh, -day life, we can find it maximum uh, 20,000. So you can make the balance and see. All right. Our next question was, we can only purchase appliances in a second hand. That is, the only place, I mean, that is, appliances can be found only in broken, if you like, because second hand, as I said earlier, is a bit complicated. We can only purchase appliances in a second hand. Our answer is 
run. For example, you can purchase an, a camera in a second hand or in a brocant. Because those uh, shops are open to a variety of items that they are selling. You have to know that. Our last question. Is it last but one? Yes, our, I'm sorry, last but one question. All the gadgets that is on the feed page, on the feed page, all the gadgets have the same usage. On the feed page, third dash, all the gadgets have the same usage. On the feed page, I insist so that you learners should be uh, on the same line with me. The fit page, after four, five. At the beginning, you have a first dash, you have a second dash, and you have a third dash. All the gadgets have the same usage. I will explain it a little bit for you. Though beforehand the answer is wrong. Because uh, the usefulness of a telephone cannot be the same with an air conditioner, as simple as you understand it. The usefulness of a TV set cannot be the importance of a, uh, let me say, uh, a, a dish washer. And a last example. The usefulness of a microwave cannot be the same with a headphone or headphones, for example. So, based on those differences, our answer is wrong. In our last case, that came to uh, Put more emphasis was, for example, a dishwasher cannot play the role of a camera, so that you can see clearly the difference between the two items. Our last question, still on the feed page. A fax machine is an appliance. On the feed page, a fax machine is an appliance. Answer, true, on page six, the last page, true. Most, if not, all appliances do not entertain, like music from a laptop, for example. So it is only natural to uh, rank uh, a fax machine under appliances. Now, this is what we were supposed to work on. I will try to make a kind of resume for you. The lesson in a context of revision or partial revision, because we will probably come back to, to the fifth module based on uh, media and communication. The revisions were about mastering the difference between ICT. because they are in two groups. A learner, before attending the writing of his or her probatoire, should know that appliances and gadgets are all called ICT, or modern tools, all of them. But now, there is a difference when it comes to the usage. And I invite you to work harder upon it. And it is simple because on a daily basis, you people use phones. You use computers. Yes, some of us use uh, microwaves. So you can clearly see in which context we can be talking of a mobile phone, and if possible, 
when you talk of phones, you have to rank them if it is ordinary or Android. When you come to computers, you have to rank them because we have four uh, types of computers. But here in our context, uh, in Cameroon, we use, I mean, in our day to day lives, we use basically two that is, the portable or mobile computer and the desktop computer. So that was what the lesson invited our learners to concentrate on those two elements. Now, let's say something about the assignment at the bottom of your page. Composition. Topic. In a write-up between 200 and 250 words, describe the importance of modern technology inventions. Focus your attention on the cardinal. I'm talking of the assignment. I'm trying to explain the assignment. Focus your attention on the cardinal role of gadgets and appliances that we use in our day-to-day -day indoors and outdoors lives. I will try to guide you a bit. The topic should not be separated. The understanding of the topic should not be separated uh, from the lesson or the revisions that we did today. You have to go deeper in the lesson before writing your composition. The topic is clear. And it says that the limit of your work should be comprised between 200 and 250 words. What are you talking of exactly in your assignment? You will make a list, for example, of appliances. You can take three. And you make another one for gadgets. You can also balance by taking three. You write upon the importance one after the other, one after the other, and you develop your writing gradually, bringing out every time you are working on a specific item, you bring out the usefulness or the importance of that particular item you are talking about. You can even link it to uh, the context that we are living. We are confined at home. What do you do with the uh, modern tools of communication? What do you do? What are their usefulness? What can you uh, use a computer for when you are confined at home? I try to call upon your attention so that you can do your best. You are working at home, so there is no need to say uh, English is difficult, I cannot have words enough. No, at home you have dictionaries. I urge you to look for difficult words in dictionaries so that your writing should be well constructed. I took pleasure to work with you today, and sure enough, I will come back to you soon. Thank you.